Missing upper lateral incisors is a common orthodontic problem. The upper lateral incisors are one tooth over from the dental midline. Normally, the lateral incisors are up around age seven. If your child is older than age seven, it is a good idea to visit an orthodontist to check on your child's teeth. The lateral incisors may be just slow at erupting or they may be missing. A missing lateral incisor can be treated in two ways. It can be replaced with a dental implant or the lateral incisor space can be closed completely with braces and the canine, which is the next tooth over, can be substituted for the missing lateral incisor. There are advantages and disadvantages to both options. Let's take a look at the first option of replacing the lateral incisor with an implant. Orthodontic treatment prepares a properly sized space for the implant as well as corrects the other orthodontic problems that may be present. During orthodontic treatment, an artificial tooth is placed on the braces, as seen here, so that no one will know that your child has a missing tooth. After orthodontic treatment, the artificial tooth is placed on the retainer to hold the space until an implant can be done at age 18. An implant is composed of two parts. One part is a metal screw that is placed directly in the jawbone. The second part resembles a natural tooth and it is permanently attached to the metal screw. Implants cannot be placed in growing individuals since the implant is permanently fixed to the jawbone. If an implant is placed and the jawbone is not finished growing, the jawbone can grow over the implant and the implant won't look right. Therefore, you must wait until age 18 to place an implant. This is the downside of the implant replacement choice. Your child must wear the upper retainer from the time that the braces are completed until the time that the implant is placed at age 18. The other disadvantage to the implant option is that this is an additional fee over and above the orthodontic fee. Implants fees vary, but are in the range of $3,000 per implant. The main advantage to implant replacement of a missing lateral incisor is that it usually produces a more natural and aesthetically pleasing smile. As seen here, the smile is broader with the implant than with the close the space option that is seen here. While boys tend to not pay attention to their smile appearance, girls really do. Most girls choose this option. Now let's take a look at the second option of closing the missing tooth space and substituting the canine for the missing lateral incisor. With this option, the missing tooth space is closed orthodontically along with whatever orthodontic problems that may be present. The advantage of this option is that no artificial tooth is needed on the retainer, no prolonged retainer wear is needed, and no implant is needed which is a significant economic advantage. The canine can be reshaped a bit to look more like a lateral incisor, but it will still have a more pointed shape than a normal lateral incisor. The disadvantage to this option is that how good the finished results look varies from person to person. For some patients, there is a noticeable color difference between the canine and the central incisor. For others, the canine is noticeably fatter front to back wise than the central incisors. For these individuals, canine substitution does not look ideal. However, for others, as seen here, there is no color difference or noticeable thickness difference and the results look very natural. Most boys choose this option. Missing lateral incisors may occur as an isolated problem, but frequently it is associated with impacted upper canines, small or misshapen lateral incisors on the opposite side of the mouth, and overgrowth of the lower jaw. An impacted canine means that the tooth does not grow in properly. 
Without the lateral incisor present, the canine doesn't have the normal guidance to grow into the mouth and some canines will become sideways. Orthodontic treatment may be able to prevent canine impaction and can correct canine impaction should it occur. Small or misshapen lateral incisors are not aesthetic and they can lead to spaces being present in the mouth after orthodontic treatment. These small lateral incisors can be treated with cosmetic bonding or veneering to make them look normal. Overgrowth of the lower jaw means that the lower jaw grows ahead of the upper jaw. Normally, the lower jaw should be slightly behind the upper jaw. Orthodontic treatment can treat overgrowth of the lower jaw, provided that treatment is started before jaw growth is over. If your child has missing upper lateral incisors, it is a good idea to have an orthodontist monitor the upper canine eruption and the lower jaw growth, even if you do not plan on having braces. Please keep in mind that the purpose of this video is for educational purposes only. It is not a substitute for an in-office consultation with an orthodontist. Thanks for watching.